How's it going, party people? Well, I got my gears in. Uh, this is supposed to be the one that goes on to the shaft of the ball screw. But, dum dum dum, it is a 10 millimeter hole, and turns out, near to 12. So it won't just go on there right away. Uh, so, we do have one solution coming right up. It is the new Harbor Freight Mini Lathe. And with its self-centering three-jaw chuck, I have the, uh, the outside chucks installed that come with it. I also picked up a set of uh, uh, tools and I had to use a little bit of a shim here. I had some leftover aluminum to try to get it to the height of the center. So next thing we're going to do is spin this up and see how well we can get this going. Uh, it's the first time I've ever even touched a lay, so eh, if I screw this little bad boy up, uh, I'll probably just go by the one that's supposed to fit it. Alright, see how it goes. Alright, so here we got it. I uh, went ahead and bored out uh, this side with the set screws first. And you can see that ridge inside. I had to flip it over and do both sides. And it turns out I did this side a little too wide. So I was basically just, um, excuse me, I was just um, boring it out and then seeing if it fit, boring out, seeing if it fit. And then I realized there's um, the way I was actually turning the piece is the wrong way. I was uh, shoving the whole piece inside here and then trying to gradually go in the sides. It's probably better just to. Uh, you know, go in a little at a time and slowly work in and out of the piece. And that's what I learned. And then I got this side, and this side actually fits a lot better. And you'll see no ridge on this side. But I had to flip the part in order to, you know. So the first part, it was done like this inside the chuck. And then flipped it over and did it like this. And uh, there's the tool all lined up. So. Uh, there you have it. Uh, let's go ahead and slide this on if we can. Okay, it's a little bit. There's a little bit of play, uh, but I think with the set screws it'll be all right. So I'm actually not too comfortable with the amount of play that's in this. I'm sure it probably isn't going to do anything, but I'm trying to make as accurate as machine as possible. And actually. The, most of the play is on this top where the set screws are, and it would probably be better if the play was on the bottom. It kind of pushes it to one side over the other. I could shim it, I could do some other things, but I went and just ordered the other part. And what made me think about what to do next if I ever in, encounter this is I've noticed is that there's probably about five notches of backlash here in, in the uh, actual lead screws that are on this machine. So I kind of came up with a solution is that I've attached a machinist dial, a digital one I got from Harbor Freight as well, with its magnetic base, and the magnetic base is actually just hanging on to this uh, tailstock. But what this actually does is that it actually gives me an accurate, so if I, let's see if I get both shots in there. Uh, maybe this is better. So if I go back and forth, you see it's not really affecting anything. That's the backlash. But if I now it's caught, it actually gives me a pretty good readout. So I think for future parts that are going to have to be, um, you know, as precise as possible, I'm going to use this setup. I hope this helps. Uh, if anybody is interested, um, what I've noticed is about one rotation of this is close to one millimeter. Um, which would come out to about 0 0.037038 inches uh, when I read it on the dial. Uh, so that should hopefully give somebody out there a good idea of the actual travel of this thing. Thanks a lot.